I am Dr. Harish. I am the Director Center of Excellence, Rama Institute of Oncology. In our place, we have the entire diagnostic facility for oncology, starting from laboratory services to radiology, including nuclear medicine. We also have a complete treatment capabilities of surgery, radiation and chemotherapy. In addition, after the treatment is completed, support facilities like physiotherapy, psycho-oncology are also in place in our setup. Shortly, we are going to commence palliative care in oncology, which will be a very big boon to the existing patients. Basically, radiation oncology is a branch of medicine where we treat malignancies or cancers with radiation. Radiation means X-rays. In olden days, whenever patient used to receive radiation, they were worried that the skin will get burnt, they will have a lot of toxicity and they can't tolerate. As time has passed, we have come to a level, what you can see on my background, a machine called as a true beam machine, where we can treat patients with very less toxicity because we end up treating only the tumor and nothing else. These are the ways that technology can be used to make sure that patients are not only treated and the malignancies can be cured, but also we make sure that the patient tolerates the treatment really well and completes all forms of treatment. It's important to know that as technology improves, it not only helps to improve the survival for patients, but also it will have a big impact cosmetically also for the patients so that nobody would know that uh, patients are getting treated with radiation and the stigma associated with cancer can be removed permanently. This by utilization of these technologies at Ramaya Hospital, we have been able to uh, come up with guidelines and protocols which are similar to what is happening in the West and at present we treat roughly about 100 cases on this machine and we end up treating all kinds of malignancies from brain tumors to sarcomas. Thank you. This year World Cancer Day theme is closing the gap and I have chosen to speak on social stigma. As all of us know there is a lot of social stigma in and around cancer be it early diagnosis, be it during the treatment or during the follow-up. The social stigma that is, which makes the patients come late to the doctors is because of the side effects of the treatment. So they're worried about it. So awareness has to be created regarding this, that if we diagnose them early, we can cure the patient. The next thing is during treatment. As we know, cancer requires multidisciplinary treatment. So the side effects probably are expected to be little more. But with the advent of treatment, we can cure the patient and with maintain quality of life and they will be doing normal activities like any one of us. And the next thing is during follow-up, they have to come regularly for the checkup so that even if early recurrence is picked up, we can cure. So overall, if I have to say, we should stop spreading the negative uh, things about the cancer, like how we see in the theater about the oral cavity cancers and the defects that are caused and all those. This will make the patients not come to the doctors early. Instead, we should be spreading positive news. We should be allowing the survivors to talk about their journey and how they overcame that. So that that will give an inspiration for people to come early to doctors, get diagnosed early and then get cured. Today I'm going to talk about cancer, which is one of the disease which people have a lot of misconception of various fears. Today we're going to talk about cancer and dispel those myths and have clarity about the diagnosis. One of the myths about cancer is cancer is not curable or death sentence, which is not true. Today most of the cancers can be treated, managed or cured with various new advances in the field and definitely we can live with cancer also. Second, people think cancer is hereditary. Uh, some part of cancers are hereditary, like breast, colon, and ovary cancer. But most of the cancers are caused by a combination of genetic, environmental, lifestyle choices, 
and uh, other risk factors like exposure to carcinogens so we should be uh, not blame a victim uh, family for the cancers second thing is only people older people gets cancer which is not true young patients children get cancer but they are potentially curable uh, cancer is not contagious you should not discriminate or stigmatize the patients who have cancer because cancer do not spread from one person to other person by mere physical touch we should respect uh, patients and give dignity to the their lifestyles and we should not use any alternative medicines which are very toxic which not only will delay the treatment also harm the vital organs so that when we start a probably curable treatment we will not able to complete friends with this thing you can approach cancer with holistically and treat cancers what they need a passionate care thank you at ramaya institute of oncology we believe in holistic cancer care as measures in this direction we we are aiming for few aspects of cancer care that are unique to our center to name a few we have patient support groups where patients can come understand their difficulties mix with other patients who have similar problems and have uh, the ability to face their cancers in a better way we also want to take care of patients with hereditary cancer in a better way by having psychologists psychiatrists and genetic counselors in the team that takes care of our patients we have the most cutting edge technology in terms of chemotherapy immunotherapy and bone marrow transplant at our center we are also involved in clinical trials which lead to the most advanced and the recent treatments being available for our patients the world cancer day theme for this time is close the care gap for cancer patients uh main uh, problem with the cancer patients it's with the symptoms and uh, awareness most of the people are not aware of the symptoms because generally uh, cancer does not cause specific symptoms and they have to seek out for uh, medical fraternity as soon as the smallest uh, things they see for Uh, more awareness among the people uh, pushes them to see, uh, seek for this medical help once more the people are aware more chances that they will seek medical help we will end up with early stage cancers for example small lumps which are painless in breast or bleeding per vagina or small initial symptoms of uneasiness for ca ovary these all helps us to identify the patient at an earlier stage where it is curable Ramaya Memorial Hospital Laboratory is a NABL accredited laboratory for getting the right diagnosis of cancer five important things are necessary or five right things are necessary the first and most important thing is the right amount of biopsy from the right site this is where the clinicians will plan with the radiologists and give us the right material so that we can analyze this tissue the second right thing which is needed is the right skill set of the doctors cancer pathologists are different from the regular pathologists cancer pathologists they need to see how aggressive is your tumor to where it has spread and they also need to inform the doctor whether the cancer will respond to which particular targeted therapy now for providing this information to the doctor which we call as prognostic and predictive markers important investigations which include immunohistochemistry as well as molecular genetic tests are necessary every cancer has certain molecular genetic abnormalities these molecular genetic abnormalities are the primary drivers of the cancer and they also determine how aggressive the cancer is and to which treatment they will respond all of these tests they need to be done for successfully managing a cancer patient so the laboratory at ramaya memorial hospital has all of these services under one roof and it is manned by a trained expert pathologists who are specialized in each of these 
cancers to provide you the best of the services.